Alrighty guys, we got the game camera on, and this time we are on the dealer's side of a blackjack table. And you might be asking yourself why the Learn to Play Craps guy has got a blackjack table and why is he teaching us how to do blackjack stuff. Well, um, if you notice, again, we are on the dealer's side, and I wanted to let some people know exactly how this works. A lot of people have written me letters and uh, emails and, and asked me a bunch of really good questions about how dealing works and how it all, how it all comes together. So. Uh, when you want to go work in the casino industry, you got to go to dealer's school. If you haven't already worked in the casino, you have to go to a dealer's school and uh, get a, a certification or some accreditation that says you know how to do this stuff. It is an industry where there's a lot of policies and procedures, and you have to know all those things backwards and forwards and uh, how it pertains to every single move that's going on on the game that you happen to be dealing. Uh, so when you want to be a craps dealer or if you have an inkling to be a craps dealer, guess what? You've got to learn blackjack first. And there's a lot of stuff over here on the blackjack table that will actually help you be a better craps dealer uh, when you understand a few of the payoffs and how things work and how the checks work. Uh, checks meaning the chips here in front of us. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is the first thing, you, you go to dealer school, one of the first things they do is hand you a deck of cards and they want to see you shuffle those cards. So most people will sit down, once they get the cards in front of them, they grab them just like this and then they shuffle them just like they were taught when they we're playing go fish as kids and stuff and they think they've got it all figured out that's a good shuffle there and then maybe they've got the bridge figured out so they can do that and uh, you know they do it a couple times really quick to see how fast they can get a couple of those shuffles in like that and make it look real good well I gotta tell you right now that's an improper shuffle and they're gonna laugh at you because they laughed at me the first time I went to dealer school and picked up a deck of cards and mangled them like that number one when you when you shuffle in the cards like that these things are made out of paper these things are not made out of metal they're made out of paper and they're nice and lightweight it doesn't take very much to get them to do whatever you want to do with these cards you can you can make them do all kinds of things with just your fingertips and a little bit of lightweight touching if you grab the cards and you start flipping them like this, I'm bending these cards. I'm bending them. I'm creasing them. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. When I'm going like, oh my gosh, I'm mangling these cards. The pit boss out there is going to freak if he sees anybody mangle these cards and handle them like that. I've actually got them full. You can see a crease in that one right there from actually somebody grabbing these cards. And you know they see that they're not quite flat, so they strip them like this, and they go like this. You bend them like that. Well, that's what that's from right there. Somebody grabbed this deck and they bent it and they bent a little bit too far and they, they, they bent up a couple of those cards in there. So that's not even a deck that we can use if we're playing in a real casino. We'd have to call a pit boss and say, give me a new deck. Um, my hands sweat a lot and I didn't like dealing blackjack that much because I would ruin decks of cards. If you had me on the game for an hour and 20 minutes, this thing's like a sponge and it'll sit there and soak up all of the sweat that's in your hands and by the time you get, I get done with them and the next dealer comes in the thing stands about this high it's, the cards are completely mangled so um, you gotta understand these cards are made out of paper they're really nice cards when you get them brand new and that's not how you shuffle cards I'm gonna open up a brand new deck of cards here these are from Paulson Gaming in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the same company that prints up cards for casinos all over the country and all over the world, actually. It's also where we got our casino chips from back in the day. You could actually go to Paulson Gaming and purchase casino chips uh, off the shelves there, and uh, you can't do that anymore, unfortunately. But uh, you get a brand new deck of cards. That's how we open them in the casino. Just give them a little squeeze like that, and that seal pops right there. They're going to pull off the top card here, which is a joker. They're going to pull off the bottom card, which is also a joker. And then they're going to take out this deck of cards. And the pit boss, when he does this for you, he's going to spread these cards out face up, just like this. He's going to spread them all the way out there like that. I did a terrible job, but he's going to spread them all out. And you have to go through Ace Deuce, and you're going to make sure all the suits and all the numbers are there. Once in a while, we'll get a card that's either missing or out of place, or maybe there's two aces or something. That doesn't happen very often, but I've seen it. Brand new deck of cards pops open, and there's something awry, and we have to start over again. I'll spread them across the other side like this. You've got to look at the backs of the cards, too. You've got to make sure there's no marks on them. Make sure there's no, no identifying marks that will give a player an edge when they're looking at the cards and see something face down and they know what it is because it has a mark on it. You've got to take a look at all these cards. And then they have you do something called washing the deck. I'm washing my deck of cards right now. And I'm washing the deck. This is something they're going to make you do. Once you get it all washed, these cards are brand new and they're nice and slippery and they slide all over the place. There's a couple different ways that you can get these things to lay down flat. I just, you know, for the shuffle purposes here, we're going to show you guys 
from the first one. You walk up to a blackjack game and the cards have already been played with, that's what they're going to look like. Usually when you go to a blackjack table, they're going to be spread out just like that. Uh, the last dealer that was there spread them out for you. So now you're going to take them when it's your turn and there's players there. You don't touch the cards when there's no players out there. But when there's players out there and they have money bet and everything, you are going to be dealing the cards. So you step up to the game and you gather up the cards. When I gather the cards, I use my ring finger. Right here, my ring finger goes on the outside long ways of the deck and then I use my index finger and my middle finger on the front and then my thumb here on the back side that's on my side. So that's that's how I properly, I don't use my pinkies at all. Some dealers use their pinkies, they get in there and use, I don't use my pinkies at all. I get a good deck, when I grab a deck like that I go just like this. The, the layout that we're on, the table we're on, it's got a lot of cush to it. There's a whole lot of cush here and you, you are able to do a lot of moving these, these cards around and getting to do things and stuff with this cush that's on there. You can make some, oh shit. Alrighty guys, uh, you have to excuse my French at the end of that last video. You never know when you're going to get interrupted uh, on your non-closed set when you're making a YouTube video. So anyway, uh, I was saying the, the tables have a little bit of cush to them. They're nice and soft underneath of there. There's felt, a little bit of padding, and then there's the table underneath. And it gives you the opportunity to push down when you grab that deck of cards, and you can grab uh, the bottom card and pick up the whole deck at once. If you try to practice this stuff on your kitchen table or on a glass countertop or something like that, you're not going to be able to grab most of that. You're going to leave the last one or two cards down there unless you slide it off towards the edge or something to grab the deck. Uh, these casino tables are designed with that in mind. You want to be able to pick up this deck, maneuver the deck, and make it real easy for yourself. So a little bit of cush there makes it nice. You can pick up that whole deck of cards. Let me go show you guys how to pick up a deck of cards in the shuffle that I was taught at the very first casino that I worked at. It's called a house shuffle. Every house has its own shuffle. So don't think that there's only one way to shuffle these cards. There's not. There's innumerable ways to shuffle different little things and I'm going to show you guys a few things here you can practice and uh, learn a little bit more about how these cards work, how the, how the dealing works, how the shuffling works. So when I grab a deck of cards off the game, again I use the cush, I push the cards together, move my cut card over here, I grab the deck with my, with my fingers the way I showed you and I pick it up and I'm going to break this deck in half. And how do I do that? I'm going to use my fingers, I'm grabbing on to the top half with my thumb and my index finger and my ring finger over here and I'm grabbing onto the bottom half of the deck with my thumb and my index finger and my ring finger over here and I'm just pulling them apart and I've got it down to where I can pretty much get about half the deck on each side it's pretty easy to do once you work with it for a while uh, the closer the two halves are the easier and nicer they can shuffle together now when I'm shuffling I'm not gonna pick the cards up at all I'm gonna leave them on the table when I shuffle well what do you mean how does that work well this is how it works I'm gonna put my hands down flat on top of this deck of cards just like this and I'm gonna pick up these corners down here with my thumbs I'm picking up these corners here with my thumbs and I'm not picking them up so much and bending them I'm just lifting the cards a little bit and I'm letting them fall down and they will fall in interlacing between themselves and come down and then I can push them together with my ring finger box the cards up like that and then I can I can take them and strip them out I can take them and, and shuffle again and do different things it makes it real easy and you don't have to pick the cards up you don't have to expose the bottom card to the players uh, show everybody what's on the bottom of the deck it's the main reason why they have you do this stuff this way you don't want to expose anything in the casino so I put my hands down like this I'm picking up the cards like this and I'm shuffling like this take a good look at that before we actually interlace you know, the cards I'm not bending the cards really, I'm just picking them up and I'm letting them fall. They're just falling after my fingers. So when I get them together, I bend the cards a little bit so that they're angled and then I let them fall like that and they've interlaced themselves. And then I push from the back side and I catch it and I slide it all together like that. Box it up nice and clean. Here's another view of it. A few more times here. Again, we got half the deck on one side, half the deck on the other side, and we're just letting them interlace themselves. This is a brand new deck of cards, and they flow together real nice. There's a finish on the outside. That one didn't quite interlace together so good, but you know what? The cards still go together. Matter of fact, check this out. You got cards, you, you totally missed. Oh, you missed. You didn't get it all. Well, guess what? Wiggle them back and forth like that. They'll find their way home. Just a and I'm not pushing that hard at all. I'm just, I'm just pushing them together. So half the deck, drop it. This is what it looks like when it's when it's nice. Another thing they taught us for part of our house shuffle, the first thing you did was break the deck and shuffle it. The next thing you did was take a third of the deck from the bottom and put it on the top, box it, and break it and shuffle it again. 
Again, third of the deck from the bottom, and I put it on the top, break it together, shuffle it again. And then, you know, there's there's other things that, that they have you do. There's there's things you can go like this and rotate the cards and bring them together. You know, the, some people see it as fancy. It's just basically how it shuffles. There's different reasons for doing different things. And uh, But that's what I kind of wanted to get you guys to understand is there's, there's different house shuffles. Even if the cards go a little bit askew, I can still pretty much control them without flipping them up and exposing what's on the other side of those cards. This is, oops, that's a nice, oops, there we go, butterfingers. This is a nice shuffle. There we go. A little bit of an idea. You guys can practice it. I haven't dealt blackjack in quite a while, so I'm a little rusty. I'm going to have to work on that. Maybe I'll make another video and show you guys how, how good it looks when it's actually looking good. So, appreciate your time, guys. Once again, craftsmoney.com. We've got a blackjack video coming. We've got a how to deal blackjack video coming. We've got volume two of our craps video coming up, and we've got a lot of stuff coming up, guys. Stay tuned and keep watching.